and John Serge Gagnon today we're going to talk about creating an Aweber list an Aweber list sending to your Aweber list using your daily blog post did you know you could have actually create your email list from your blog post how do you do that there's lots of different ways and there's uh, one way that I'm doing it I'm going to show you how to do that because you know I'm sure you've heard you know create content every day create blog posts every day share to your list share sh send out emails to your list every day how do you do all that when you have a day job when you have a family and you just don't have time to do it all so how can you use or repurpose your stuff to share across different things and we're going to show you how I do that so you can do it too in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so yeah so there's lots of ways to automate sending emails from your blog right so the thing is the the thing is that they, they there's the rss uh syndication you can use which basically just all the time that you post in your blog it automatically picks up your post and shares it to your email list or at least adds it as a broadcast to your email list that could be the way you go right in the beginning at least for me I personally like to create the content in my email list to include the st a certain structure that I like every every day and I'm going to show you how I do that right now so let's just go right to it um actually I'm not going to go right to it but first I want to make sure that if you're listening to the audio of this that you go check out the video the video is going to be at cis332.jsgagnon.com where, where you can go check out the video and the blog post of this episode <coughs> we're actually going to show you how to use uh your blog post to share to aweber and different ways you can do that uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show you the rss because I don't use it so but maybe I can maybe I'll find where that is and just show you so let me just share my screen here so you know when you go to my blog you see I post every single day right so on the February 11th the 10th right here the 9th right here the 8th right here the 5th and you know I post every day on my blog uh the episodes that I'm doing every single day so I'm doing episodes every day right so I do this video and I shared my blog if you've been following me for, for any length of time you already know this you know that I'm sharing but if you if you aren't checking my content every day maybe you're missing you're missing out maybe you're missing an episode right so how do I make sure I reach out to you every time that I post something well I don't necessarily want to ping you with a blog post link right or which is what I'm well let me rephrase that I don't necessarily want to ping you with an automated thing every time I want to personalize it a little bit right so for me what I do is I take the blog post and I use a syndication engine and tools and things like that and let's just show you what I'm what I'm talking about all right so in Aweber you can see right here that I'm sending every single day as well right the 15th the 12th the 11th the 10th the 9th the 8th by the way the open rates is becoming harder and harder to get open rates in emails but at least it's going out to people's inbox and they see that I'm I'm there they they see that I'm I'm active right I'm doing things right there I'm I'm alive in their world and whenever they're looking for something that I do they'll remember what that I'm around right that's one of the secrets of online marketing online personal branding attraction marketing you want people to know the, do you want people to be thinking of you whenever they're thinking of what you do right if they're thinking of like me I do course hosting I do attraction marketing uh, learning all that stuff so if somebody's thinking oh how do I do a funnel or how do I do an Aweber list or how do I do a blog post or how do I share just all the contents they're gonna they're gonna be like oh there's this guy he sent me some he whatever and then they're gonna maybe be able to go look through their inbox and you're gonna find it or at least see it maybe the next day when they think about it they're like oh that's him right so that's what you want you want you you want to be in front of them all the time and that's one of the secrets of attraction marketing is being in front of your audience all the time right so that's one of the things that happens with uh 
sending out to the emails sending out to a Facebook sending out to LinkedIn sending out to Twitter sending out to Instagram all those things cause you to be in front of your audience so now we're talking about Aweber the email list um sending that out all the time right so as you can see my schedule is empty right now and let's just create a message show you how I do it I just go create message right drag and drop email builder by the way that's inside of messages under broadcast right so I go in here and then I have you know this prepared text I'll show you how I get that text but I just take this I copy it right here in the subject right there then I take the top a uh, few lines oops these three lines usually I put that in here just paste it in and then I take an image and I put an image there and that's just how it works with the uh, Instagram uh, with um, Aweber right then I click on upload an image now I go find that image in my uh 331 I think it is episode uh, no this is this is number which one is it I'm in two 327 okay so 327 right over here and then I go and get the this image here I put that in there that'll upload it and let's just uh give it a few seconds as you can see right here it's uploading right it's going to take a little bit of time not too long it's because my internet isn't the, the fastest I'm, I do live in the country um 10 minutes out of town so that's why my, my internet's not the, the best but it's still pretty good okay then I just add another paragraph down here and I paste the rest of the text that I have here right there and I put that down here and I just format it a bit better so right like this so that, so as you can see all I'm doing right now is I'm just formatting I'm adding carriage turns to make it less um to make it easier to read when somebody gets the email right so okay so now I have this I take the link to the blog post which is in here I just make that a link right and I also make the image a link because I want people to go to the blog post and they click the image and sometimes if I have other things like right here see I have other links so I'll take this link here and I will do this make this a link to here so that depends right some of the blog posts I put other links in there and so we'll just put that in here so this is a stripe it's nothing to do with me but I'll put the link in the email right so click funnels trial right there okay so now I end up with an email an email that I can send out to my list I'm just say save and exit oh which you didn't see down below there there was a save and exit let's move my so and then I say send options I schedule a broadcast right I send it to uh, one of my pages here on Twitter I share it on Twitter and then I include all my lists Seinfeld tag I can explain all these things in a second but first let me just schedule it here and show you how the process works right as you can see it's relatively straightforward it's just uh, it's just a click here click there right then I have to uh, I set up this automation I don't I don't need that one. okay so <laughs> now I schedule the message for well this one here is actually for tomorrow right so now I have one scheduled for tomorrow for the uh where, where's the date scheduled for the 16th which is tomorrow right now I'm recording this it, this is uh, today is the 15th but it's this is going to be posted to my blog on the 16th which is and then it's going to go out to my this particular one that I'm recording right now I'm actually sending it a week later so this is number 327 was a video I did a, a week ago so I'm scheduling it a week ahead for the next week so this is kind of what I do so I record my daily videos I create my blog post I do syndication I share it everywhere 
and then I set it up as a blog post as an email broadcast the week after right so one week later so that means it allows me to to be uh, ahead of time for email broadcasts a week ahead of time right so that allows me to I'm sorry about that I had some uh, French toast this morning and um, I guess I'm still a little tired and I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm burping <laughs> a little bit of that that's kind of disgusting but yeah it's just uh our digestive system you know it's normal but uh okay so that's uh, the uh, the this one here then if I want to go for example to the next one I create another one I do that again like this I just do 328 now so I go back to here and I'm going to show you how how I get these things in here so now let's go back to 328 whoops 328 there we go <clears throat> okay so 328 is going to be this subject right here right, oops that did not work 320 all right there we go okay so 328 is going to be this subject here I'm going to put that in there and then again like I said I just take the first few lines of this uh, text and I put it in here and uh you'll notice that the image I put here is a gif a gif right so 328 is this one so I take this gif which is a 600 by I don't know what the resolution does it show me it doesn't really show me here but I and that's an image I generate from a thumbnail of the video and it's a two or three second image basically right <clears throat> that you'll see oops let me try sometimes that happens so the, it's an image that you're going to see in your email as a moving image it kind of looks like a short uh, video it's a short part of the video that hopefully in, uh, in, interests you to click it right that's the idea with uh, sending a gif inside of because you can't actually send a video and if you put a video in your email it's going to just show the thumbnail of video anyways no movement right which uh, will have this play thing in the middle but you won't see any movement right so that's why I do that and then I put the rest of the um the rest of the text after the image so that whenever people get the email they get an email with some text at the beginning that says hello and then the image and then underneath the rest to read now if they want to read more it always says watch video and read more at right so if I go here you'll see down here it says watch video and read more right uh no actually you don't see it because my face is annoying let's move my face right there okay so if I do this I'm just going to show you again mini chat uh, this one here is talking about mini chat and it's basically part of the blog post I'm going to show you what I mean about that in a second so I just wanted to do just do a couple of them just to kind of show you right the process that I go through which is just taking this link uh, making that a clickable section making the video clickable section right and there you go so now I have this this one and I think there's a typo here there you go sometimes I don't notice typos until after I do this and this is a post I did a week ago I didn't notice this typo right but s-y-n-c instead of s-y-c-n that's a typo okay so now I have this email ready to go I click on the save and exit down here as you saw that it, you didn't see in the previous one because my <laughs> webcam was on top save and exit here and then you choose what to do with this broadcast or this this draft that we just created you see a preview of it right here right and then if I click on send option I'm going to schedule a broadcast the first thing I do I want to share this message when I when it goes out to my email list I also want to share it on to Facebook and Twitter so I click on edit here I say I want to share it on this Facebook page and on this Twitter account you can have more than one Twitter account I guess I only have the one uh, and then under who should receive this message right I say include all lists because you could just send it to one list if you want it but I don't want to send it to everybody necessarily I want people that have this what is called a Seinfeld tag 
and what that means is and it's just the way I set it up every time somebody gets on uh, one of my email lists after they receive the first few emails they end up uh, what uh, they end up with this tag that's called the Seinfeld tag so and maybe I can show you how that's that happens but I give <coughs> that means I send it to Seinfeld tag people which means that they've been on my list at least a few days <coughs> and they've received my initial welcome emails before I broadcast uh, one of these emails to them right so I click on apply when should this be sent I don't send immediately uh, this one because it's a my scheduled broadcast so I go and I click on edit here as you can see they're already all scheduled for all the other days today is this day so I'm going to click on the 17th which is the next one I want to send out and I always send it at 7 30 a.m eastern time now <coughs> obviously the time that you send your broadcast can be whatever you want but I recommend you send them always at the same time every day so that people get used to when they should expect an email from you right so then I click and apply do I want tag automations I don't particularly know how to use this yet I mean it creates tags in accounts that have done the, these things so on open I click I add a tag open email but you probably don't need that because you can tell who opened emails using just the regular analytics but anyways I've been doing that for that and I also have this clicked video and clicked other things but click video means that they clicked my video so it means they either clicked on the link or on the image to watch the video or the blog post right and then I just I don't care about email quick stats I just go look at them anyway so schedule it so now the there's now there's two messages scheduled in my email list one for tomorrow one for the day after and I do I do them five days ahead of time like I said so I could do more but let's show you what I mean by tags what I mean by tags because I'm sending it only to people will be sent to Seinfeld tag right so if I go to subscribers uh let's just uh, no actually I want to go into my campaign so campaign right here so whenever somebody subscribed to the simple online strategies list if I go to my campaigns what you can see right here is they're going to get this these initial messages so these are basically the 10 the simple and the strategies is when somebody subscribes to get my ebook if I go to my blog post here whenever they click on this here the top 10 simple online strategies they will get to the master of simple page which asks them for their name and email to get the free ebook right so whenever they enter their name and email in here they get added to this campaign which sends them the email that says here's your here's your um let's just look at the can I not see a preview uh I think I have to go into the campaign uh, preview there you go so they'll get this email first which is a link to my to my ebook where they get get the ebook right download it right away right then the next day they get the strategy number one which is basically this is strategy number one with a link to get uh, all the all of them right and they do so I, I send them these emails one a day um with a delay of one day see how it says one day one day one day and then these emails email number one number two number three and then at the end when they get the last they get the last one right then I get a final email here and then I apply this Seinfeld tag so over here I add the Seinfeld tag so after they've gotten the 10 emails now they get this tag added to them which means that whenever they is there a cancel cancel so it means that whenever they subscribe to get that free ebook after 10 days or 11 days or so they'll get that Seinfeld tag which means that now they're going to get uh whoops not that's the one I want draft broadcast mm, broadcast <laughs> which means that's when they're going to start to get these emails sent to them because they're now they now have the Seinfeld tag so when they first get the list get on the list get that ebook they're not going to get these emails right 
uh they're not going to get them right away now there might be uh, I could I could have another way for them to get the tag to get it right away and I've done that manually myself too but the thing is that it's automatic after 10 days they get the tag so now they start to get the broadcast emails that I'm sending to all my lists and I do the same with all the different lists like if I go for example to the 12 step uh 12 steps your online success that's the same thing in here under uh schedule the uh, so do, 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 where do I go under messages campaigns so under here it's the same thing I've got this welcome one which has all these steps the 12 steps right that that's if they go and click on this one if they click on the 12 critical steps to online success this one here right and they click on that it goes to the 12 step page to lot to get their email so if they enter their email and, and their name and email they'll get for free this ebook that talks to them about the 12 critical steps but they also get on this list where they get these steps number steps number one two three right of 12 3 4 10 of 12 11 12 then they get the Seinfeld tag applied to them at the end of the 12 days so that's how the the sign the tags work that's how I use the tags to send to only people who have gone through my list uh, same thing with introduction if I cancel this and I go to my introduction list introduction list the introduction list is uh, if you go straight to one of my uh, campaigns to get you on on here uh you get these emails free gift one free gift three and then the apply Seinfeld tag right uh I should probably have an extra day in here put another day just because I don't want necessarily to get the within the same day so I'm just going to save that so that's uh that's yeah you can see it right here too right one day the second email one day is third email one day and then the tag so that means that at least a day later after they've received this they'll get the tag and this has been a list I have for a long time as you can see 50, only 50 percent opened it but it's still pretty good 50 percent that have gotten on this list opened them right so yeah so that's how you do uh, okay so now how do I get how do I get that text that I just showed you right this text here right how do I do that because I mean it I could go into my blog right here and go edit the blog and go get or go straight to one of these in uh, if I go straight to the blog post I can come in here and you can't really copy this too too good if I take this and try to copy it to to a post it doesn't look as good um and then maybe I want to have this image in there and I want to do this and I want to do that right so I have automation that does it for me right so under click uh click ecourse uh let's log in by the way you can register an account for free and start doing that so I click on login with Facebook and then I go to syndication up here right there right move that back down here so I uh, have a bunch of different series you can create a bunch of different series for these are tests and other things if I go to course income secrets the last one here is the 331 which is the one we're doing today and I got a actually I'm doing I'm recording 332 but 331 is the one from yesterday which I have not finished the content yet which I'm going to do after this recording but this is where I would post the video so let's go back to the list and show you like 330 right so this one here under uh, video source I got under title I put the title of it under info I put the url that the blog post is on under video source I put the youtube link to the video and then under uh, video thumbnails this is where I want the thumbnail to be at position 21 minutes 31 seconds you can make it different positions for different things but they're all the same for me under full text I paste the actual blog post uh, video uh, text in here right and then when I click when I go to generate assets it generates me all these different uh, pieces of text and different pieces of text right here see text 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 video audio image subtitles so different assets to post elsewhere so I use that to post to Facebook to Twitter to LinkedIn to even even the YouTube video description I take it out of here um 
like YouTube right here right so if I go and I just look at say the text for uh, SoundCloud uh, you can see right here I got the title right and then I got the text for it right so that gives me the text for uh SoundCloud if I want the text for Aweber it's going to be like this as you can see the subject is right here the body hey my friend you could and I've got that right then I have the rest of the text right here and I just paste that right in Aweber right I can use that to share to Aweber without having to worry about creating the content for every single thing it just does it for me right I just go in here and I create the syndication assets by by just giving it the video I want to give it I give it the video I give it the the info the text and then I then I generate the assets and then I use these assets to do all these different posts including the Aweber broadcast now I told you before there's also a way to do automation what they call automation I don't even know how to do it with is it web push maybe what is that because I know other platforms allow you to just get a web push send quick one-off messages to drive visitors back. Oh, okay oh these are the web push ones where they pop up the notifications I don't use that subscribers sign up form list automation maybe oh no that's not it that's that's where you automate a subscribing to another list um messages blog broadcast there it is okay so under blog broadcast <coughs> blog blog broadcasts are one of the easiest ways to continually engage your audience your latest posts will be automatically pulled into an email newsletter that's sent at your chosen time so let's see if that works for me I create a blog broadcast rss feed so I'm just wondering immediately yeah I guess you could use that right if you just create your blog post maybe I should start using that myself hmm so if I go in here and I put the rss feed I go to my so the rss feed is usually always just your uh, where's my home home so it's just usually just your blog if you're using wordpress anyways right and let's just say slash uh, I think it's just rss oops rss is it uh actually there's a is that not in there I'm just wondering if it's anywhere right on the page or not so maybe feed uh, let's look it up so wordpress rss feed URL. let's just say what is <coughs> the feed URL where to find your WordPress feed so just slash feed yeah exactly so it's just slash feed okay so that we have that so just slash feed like that so rs so uh course course I don't know why it has a course income secrets blog post why is it not uh you should oh well wow. see there was even the link right there to show me how to go find it myself right without doing a query but I don't understand send let's make it 6 p.m uh on a specific day or days of the month so how often should we send your blog broadcast if you do not mark send automatically you will need to manually review and send okay so that's what I want uh, I don't want it to send automatically right now anyways I just want to see what happens track clicks sure social media sharing sure and then let's just say save email me when I don't need that save blog broadcast so now it's going to go and pull on my feed 
some new messages maybe not it's supposed to have maybe on the broadcast scheduled no hmm. well it's supposed to allow you to do that so why is it not working what do I find how do I test hmm uh step by step blog broadcast yeah send a test oh after you created it first hover then click send a test but there I don't have it created yet okay so I guess it didn't create it why didn't it create it create a blog broadcast so maybe I have to put text and all that other stuff in there okay so let's say this is the link here this one here right I put that in here slash feed subject is course income secrets of RSS here's a new episode a new episode here's a new episode I, this seems like complicated doesn't it I think I like my way better here's a new episode uh, broad send broadcast at let's say 6 p.m uh, when number of new items is at least one uh, okay track clicks uh, no I don't need to track well yes I do want to track clicks uh, I don't care about quick stats and is that all I want to share on Facebook on course income secrets there it is right here okay so create it save oh maybe I didn't hmm preview here's a new episode okay but why is it not contain com, retrieving blog okay creating batch one of there you go okay so I'm not sure why it didn't work the first time because uh so now it's creating all these broadcasts without sending them because I didn't say to send automatically right so number nine there you go so now we got 10 and if I click on this send the test send it to myself uh first I'm gonna send the test <coughs> okay so now I sent an email an email was sent so what's it going to be what's it going to contain refresh course income secrets rss here's a new episode I I like I said this is this is supposed to be simple but it doesn't look like it's doing what I wanted to do where's the actual blog post where's the content from the blog post I don't know anyways like I said the way I do it is I go into my list I have one email list that I use to do that and in there I create these broadcast emails and I populate them with the the first little bit of my blog post if I look at my blog post the one I just did right was 327 327 if I look at this blog post I have this text in it right connecting your funnel one way to do it setting up your accounts I got these links then creating your email list then I have all this other text that is not in the email so if somebody wants to go through and read more they'll get the email and they'll have to click to come and see the rest of it and that's the idea I want people to come to my blog I want people to come to my blog that's where that's where I gather people and grow my list and everything that's what you want to do too right all right so hopefully this kind of this this helped at least a little right to show how you grow your list how you create daily emails in your broadcast in your email list without having to create new content just taking the content from your email list and using that as your daily emails all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions go ahead and comment below and we'll see you in the next episode.
This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.